From the stunning vistas of summer to the fresh white snows of winter, from the rebirth of springtime to the electric brilliance of fall, no matter if you're young in body or young at heart, the Wilds of the Rockies has the perfect season and program for your own mountaintop experience. Colorado has the best weather in the world. The mountains are majestic. We have beautiful lakes, blue sky. I think one of my favorite things about Colorado is the big sky. And you just really feel here in Colorado, you just sort of feel closer to God in a sense. I just love it. The Wilds of the Rockies is incredible. The scenery is really indescribable. It's out of the out of the city. It's kind of off by itself. We went on horseback riding and we were able to see some different deer, mule deer, um, different varmints and marmots. We've seen elk, we've seen chipmunks, birds, you name it, we've got it. Honestly, it's majestic. Man, it is. It makes me, when I come here and I see the the, the trees and the lake and the, the setting, it draws me to God's creation. When I come over the crest and we look down over the crystal blue lake and uh, we see the, the lodge sitting on the other side of the lake, it just is, is a reminder to me of, of how good our God is and, and just the wonderful things uh, that's going to happen uh, when we enter that week of camp. One thing that is really unique about the Wilds of the Rockies is how the Lord uses the program to work in the lives of the campers. The campers see how a Christian can have fun in every area. You're set apart from the rest of the world. You're not going to hear the noises of the city. All you're going to hear is the noises of nature and of God's creation. Granted, there are so many activities, uh, free time, and then planned activities at night to help the campers enjoy their stay here. But the atmosphere itself is conducive to spiritual growth. And uh, I think that's very important, the most important thing that we could offer them. There's absolutely no influence from the world, no temptations like television or music, anything like that. But, and that you're surrounded by nature and God's creation. The people here are just you know, remarkably nice because you know they all love God. You make awesome friends here that could possibly be your friend for the rest of your life and your new community. The program here at camp is designed to break down barriers and pull kids out of their comfort zone. We try to get them to think of a cause bigger than just their world, to fight hard, to play hard. And we find that when a camper does that, it really opens them up to the preaching and the evening services. This kind of ministry is one where kids 
can really come and have a week that's just packed with tremendous things. And the focus isn't just upon the athletic events and the other types of things they can do. Uh, the focus really is geared around having a spiritual impact in lives. works it out every time to where the, when I come to camp the preachers they talk on exactly what I need. They get right in your face and they tell you the truth. I know the speaker has been really good about really backing up every single thing he says with the Bible. And when it's founded on the Bible you cannot refute it. You cannot say that's not true. Now, the preaching is very um, specific. Every person is going to get something out of it because it really it speaks to every person from every walk of life. We teach our young people on a 52-week basis at our local church and when we bring our teenagers to the wilds, it is just an extension of, of what they get at home and when I have someone else preaching and teaching the same thing that I teach at home, it just makes it that much more impact on the teenagers' lives. I want to challenge you this week at camp to open your heart to God's Word because it's the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, their spirit and their life. Oh, we'll try to tell you. Jeremiah 15, 17 said, I did not sit in the assembly of the mockers. Some of you are not bad young people, but you're hanging out with bad young people, and pretty soon they're going to destroy your life. And people you see, you may have your parents deceived. Your parents may not discern your life, but you can fool God Almighty. Content, you will never be content looking for it outside of the fact that God says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. What does that mean? It means God is more than enough for you.